Welcome to my new studio. Obviously it is winter time now, so the first thing I do every morning when I come out here is I make sure that the heat is cranked up. This is just the standard trailer entry. Um, I do have a lot of hooks there because I carry my electronics back and forth from the house at night and so on. So I don't want to leave anything out there. Right here I have a little painting area where I can sit or stand to paint. I have a Lobo style easel, which is really nice and adjustable. And I find it works a little bit better for me with my bad back. There's also room underneath to have a shelf. Mine didn't come with one, so I'll add one later. Obviously this used to be the kitchen. It still is a kitchen, but I'm not using it as a kitchen. There's also a skylight here. I pack orders here, and then there's some storage for stuff back there. And I keep my little watercolor tubes in that spinny rack thing. Plants, candles, different tools, a place to cut paper and cut my prints down to size. My favorite part is this pantry. It is big enough that I can actually fit my art books inside of it standing upright instead of laying down. And I also have plenty of room for pencil chests and organizers. And obviously I have a lot of room in here still. I haven't quite figured out what all to put in here, but it is nice to have some room to grow. It's also a nice place to hang some of the little postcards and small prints from my friends on the inside of the doors. Over here I have my plants by the window where they can get plenty of sunlight. My plants range from kind of strange looking things to fairly common plants. But I think plants are really important in an art studio. They help purify the air and they also kind of give you something to help pass or mark the passing of time. Like, have you watered your plants? What day is it? Are they dry? Is it time to water them again? Over here I have a table easel, which is my favorite easel. It is the most covered in paint, so obviously it's the one that gets used the most. It's really nice because you can drop a painting practically into your lap and you can reach the top of the painting without having to stretch or strain. And I can also just sit on a cushion on the floor and paint the bottom of the piece without having to stretch or strain or crane my neck. In the middle here I have a couple of carts, one for watercolors, one for oils. They're a little mixed up right now though. And then this is where I do most of my work. This is also a drafting table. And then a flat table for storing more stuff or putting my laptop or whatever. Then there's some overhead storage and there's color charts all the way up onto the ceiling and more overhead storage over the drafting table that my table easel sits on. I really like the lights in the tip out. These are supposed to be over a living and dining room table area, but it works out just great so that they're right over my desks. And I love that I can see my yard and the forest behind my house from my desk. And I was gonna record a vlog, but then I realized that you can't hear me over the super loud electric fireplace that I've been using to heat the trailer instead of propane. I'll talk about that a little bit more later. We put down this vinyl linoleum plank on the floor, but there's some structural damage to the tip out that we have to fix before we can finish it. The floor is great, but I have to sweep it just about every day because I walk a little bit through the woods to get here and it looks like a freaking forest elf lives in here. My printer is on a rolling cart because it needs to be portable. I try to keep it in the front half of the trailer, which I close up at night so that it stays warm. Underneath of my printer, I have room for my sketchbooks. And then over here is an old TV cabinet that is built in and is now serving to store all of my paper and canvases and painting boards and unfinished paintings and all kinds of stuff. TVs used to be huge. I don't know if you children know that or not. And so this cabinet is actually really big. Some of you might remember the paint wall from my previous studio, which was basically a bunch of nails driven into the wall with paint tubes hanging from the nails by bulldog clips. And I decided I didn't want to do that this time. So I 
found these jewelry organizers on Amazon. And I'm going to just show you where we stripped some stuff off because of the water damage. Eventually we'll cover that. So try not just to ignore that. Um, but here's the jewelry organizers that I bought to hang all of my tubes of paint on. I have my neutral colors and my reds, yellows, oranges, and a little bit of green. And then some more green, blue, and purple. And lastly, my gigantic tubes of colors that I use a lot, but they don't really fit so well mixed in with the little tubes. I really like these organizers because they give me a lot of space to actually spread the paint out so I can see it, but there's also like a little shelf to store mediums and seashells and whatever important stuff you need. The second half of the trailer used to be a bedroom, but obviously it's not a bedroom anymore. It is now a storeroom, a packing room, a warehouse, whatever you want to call it. I keep all of the prints that I have already made. I frequently have to make prints for orders, but I try to keep the most popular ones in stock. And then I have this gross little bathroom area here. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. I threw some of the extra leftover materials back there to cover where more of that hideous wallpaper was. And other than that, I really don't know what I'm going to do with the sink. Uh, there's no water out here. So this is where I pack orders and I have my scale and my label printer and also my Cricut and uh, carousel horse. Uh, just, you know, it's good to have friends at work. Um, Anyway, here's where I keep all of my clear bags, and this is kind of a mess right now because it's been Christmas rush and everything is exploded right now. Normally it's more organized. And then up top I have storage for smaller things, small envelopes for small prints and clear bags for small prints and all that kind of stuff in there. And obviously I could have done a better job painting these cabinets, but I don't care. I covered the mirrored closet doors with the contact paper I use on my desks and then we'll just take a quick glance inside. It is full of cardboard boxes and padded mailers and chaos. So why don't we go ahead and just uh, close that back up. There we go. Yeah. There's a cheaper little heater back here and I'll talk a little bit about that maybe later in this video or in another video. And then there's a shower with a Christmas tree in it because why not? And there's also a water closet or a toilet closet or whatever, but I don't like RV toilets, so I will not be using it. I would rather poop in a bush. So, uh, yeah, so that's basically my space in here. I hope that you like it and maybe it will inspire you and help you with organizing your own space. There are a lot of pros and cons to using a trailer and I can talk about that more in another video if you'd like. Uh, I do really like the space. It is a nice place to work, even if there are, you know, some strange things going on in here, but, uh, yeah. Also, there used to be a microwave up there, and the microwave got haunted, and now I don't know what to do with that spot, so, I don't know. Give me your ideas. What should I put up there? It's definitely not going to be another microwave after what happened to the last one, so have a little spinny spin, look around one more time, show you some of the stuff that's in here that just makes me happy. At night I close the little pocket door and I shove a rolled up towel underneath and I keep all of the stuff that needs to be temperature controlled in front. Our temperature doesn't really get that cold because it's Georgia, but just in case it freezes I keep all the paint in front. Thanks for visiting my studio today and I hope to see you again next week for I hope I'll have a painting video ready by then. It's been a little crazy lately. I'm sure it has been for everyone. Well, happy new year and I will see you again soon here in my little studio at the edge of the woods. Bye.